in this video we are going to deal with some more numerical problems on star and delta connections which is which is preface connections basically okay so coming to the first problem in this lecture a balanced preface load connected in star a contained star each phase consists of a resistance of 100 ohm in series with a capacitance of 31.8 microfarad and an inductor of 31.8 milli henry the load is connected to a three phase supply of 415 volt 50 hertz calculate the line current power absorbed and total kva and power factor when it is contained star as well as delta okay so we can on the same initially initially this load is connected in star then it is connected in delta okay now coming to the problem okay coming to the problem resistance is given by 100 ohm so per phase resistance you are, you, I am going to find the per phase resistance that is R phase R phase is given as 100 ohm resistance per phase is given as 100 ohm capacitance per phase that is C phase is given as 31.8 31.8 microfarad microfarad 31.8 microfarad now frequency is given as 50 hertz frequency is given as 50 hertz therefore what we can therefore what we can calculate hc hc phase is given by hc phase is given by 1 by omega into c phase that is equal to since frequency is equal to 50 hertz frequency is given as 50 hertz frequency is given as 50 hertz omega is 314 3 one four radian per second according to the equation omega is equal to two pi f so h c phase is one by three one four into thirty one point eight microfarad so it is one by three one four into thirty one point eight into ten raised to minus six that comes to hundred point one ohm or you can take it as hundred ohm that is hundred ohm okay now coming to L phase. Okay. So inductance per phase is given as inductance per phase is given as 31.8 milli henry. Given as 31.8 milli henry. Inductance per phase is given as 31.8 milli henry. Therefore, what is H phase? Inductive reactance per phase. That is H phase is given by omega into L phase. What is omega into L phase? That is 314 into 314 in into 31.8 into 10 power minus 3. That comes to 9.98. That is equal to 10 ohm. You can get it as 10 ohm. 9.98 you can write around it as 10 ohm. Therefore, E surface. You can write E surface as E surface. That is impedance per phase in rectangular form as R phase plus J into H L phase H L phase minus H C phase H L phase minus H C phase. So what is R phase? R phase is 100 ohm. R phase is 100. It is 100 plus. What is H L phase minus H C phase? H L phase is H L phase is 10 ohm. H C phase is 100 ohm. So it is minus J90. So it is even Okay, one hundred is equal to minus J ninety minus J ninety ohm. Okay, next step to find power factor. Okay, now we have now we have found out impedance per phase. Next step is draw the impedance triangle. So in the impedance triangle, hundred will be on real axis. Ninety ohm will be on negative y axis so this is a surface this is surface okay this is the angle phi okay so what is a surface you can take a surface as a surface as root of 100 square plus surface is 100 square plus 90 square what is it this is the root of 100 square 
plus 90 square. That comes to 134.5 ohm. 134.5 ohm. And now we're going to find the power factor. Power factor is cos phi. Cos phi is given by R phase. Cos phi is given by R phase divided by R phase divided by S R phase. What is it? What is R phase? R phase is 100. So it is 100 by 134.5. 100 by 134.5. That is 0 0.743. Yes, sort of point. Sort of point seven. 4, 3. Now in this circuit, since H3 is greater than H3, we can say that power factor is leading. That means it has more capacity effect compared to inductive effect. So power factor is basically leading. Now coming to coming to the next part of the question. Coming to the next part of the question. Initially, I am considering star connection. Initially, it is connected in star. Initially, the impedance is connected in star. Now. If it is a star connection, what is phase current? Phase current is equal to phase current is equal to phase V phase by V subphase. V phase by V subphase. What is V phase in the case of a star connection? Line voltage is given as 415. Line voltage is given as 415 volt. So it is 415 phase voltage is 415 by root 3. Whole divided by what is the surface? The surface is 134.5. 134.5. And it's in the case of a star connection. That gives 4 on 5 divided by 4 on 5 divided by root 3 into 134.5. That gives 1.78. Okay, that means in the case of a star connection, phase current is 1.78 ampere. Okay, and V phase is 415 by root 3. Now, coming to power in star connection. Power in star connection is given by PS. PS is equal to, sorry, one second. Mm, power in star connection, that is PS is given by power in star connection. PS is equal to 3 times V phase, I phase, 3 times V phase, I phase into cos y. 3 times V phase, I phase into cos y. That is 3 into, what is uh, V phase? V phase is 3 into 4 on 5 by root 3, by root 3 into what is I phase? I phase is 1.78 into what is cos y? Cos y is point seven four three. So what do you get? This is equal to three into four on five by root three into one point seven eight into point seven four three. That is nine five zero point six four. Nine five nine five. 0.64 watts. Okay, that is the power in star connection. Now coming to reactive power. Reactive power is given by PQS, right? This is active power. Reactive power is given by QS. QS is given by 3 times 3 times V phase I phase sin phi. That is reactive power. 3 times V phase I phase sin phi. What is it? That is equal to 3 into 3 into 4 on 5 by root 3 into what is I phase? I phase is 1.78 into what is sin phi? From the impedance triangle, sin phi is 90 by Z phase. That is 90 divided by Z phase. That is 134.5. Okay. So that comes to 856.14 is 856.14 VAR. It comes to 8, 3 into V phase is 415 by root 3 into 1.78 into 90 divided by 134.5. That comes to 856.14. 856.14.
8.56.14 volt ampere volt ampere reactive volt ampere reactive okay that is the reactive power now what is apparent power apparent power in star constraint is ss that is ss that is given by 3 times v phase into i phase 3 times v phase into i phase that is apparent power that is 3 into 415 by root 3 15 by root 3 into what is i phase into 1.78 that gives 1279.5 1279.5 volt ampere. Okay. So dividing volt ampere by 1000, you will get kVA. Dividing VAR by 1000, you will get kVAR. Dividing watt by 1000, you will get kW. Okay. So the regarding star connection, everything is over. Okay. Now coming to delta connection. Coming to delta connection. Okay. So let me rub this part. Okay. Thumbing this part. Okay. Thumbing and just rubbing this part. This is I am going to deal with delta connection. As soon as I am going to deal with delta connection. Deal with delta connection. Deal with delta connection. In the case of delta connection, what is V phase? V phase is equal to line voltage itself. That is V phase is equal to line voltage that is given as 415 volt. Line voltage is equal to phase voltage that is given as 415 volt. Therefore, phase current, phase current, I phase is given by, I phase is given by, line voltage, VL by, Z phase, VL by, Z phase, what is VL, VL is 4 on 5, and divided by what is Z phase, Z phase is 134.5, so, phase current is 3.08 ampere, phase current is 3.08 Ampere. Okay. Now coming to uh, coming to first I will calculate apparent power. So apparent power in delta. Apparent power in delta that is S D is given by three times V phase. Three times V phase I phase. Three times V phase I phase. That is given by three into what is V phase four on five into what is I phase three point zero eight. And comes to 3834.6. This is equal to 38, 3834.6 volt ampere, volt ampere. Okay. So that is apparent power. That is as in delta. Now coming to uh, IT power. IT power is given by PD or P delta. IT power is given by 3 times V phase. V phase, I phase, 3 times V phase, I phase into cos phi. That is given by 3834.6 into what is cos phi? 0.743. What is it? That is equal to 2849. 2849.1 mode. 2849.1. This is 2849. Point one watt. Okay. Now coming to a reactive power. That is Q delta or Q D. Q delta is given by three into V phase I phase three into V phase I phase line five. That is equal to three eight three four point six into what is sin phi? Sin phi is 90 divided by 134.5. Okay. That comes to, sorry, it is 3834.6 into 
into what is sin 90 divided by 134.5 that comes to 2566 that is equal to 2566 VAR 2566 volt ampere reactive 2566 volt ampere reactive now if you are taking the ratio of power in delta and power in star what is P delta by P P S? Power in delta by power in star. That is equal to 2849.1 divided by 950.64. That is equal to 2849.1 divided by 950.64. That is exactly equal to 3. That is exactly equal to 3. So, hope you have understood the derivation part also. Okay. So, in this problem, what we have dealt with? Initially, we have, fo initially we have fo found out XL, uh, R, XL and XC. Then, after that, we have drawn the imbalance triangle. From the imbalance triangle, we have found out cos Y and sin Phi. What is sin cos Y? Cos Y is R by E surface. What is sin phi? Sin phi is H3 by E surface. Okay. Now, then, line voltage is given as 415 volt. Therefore, omega you will calculate it as 314 radian per second. Now, uh, power factor you will get it as power factor is cos phi. Power factor you will get it as 0.743 lead. Now, since it is a star connection, what is I phase? I phase, uh, first you will deal with star connection. In the case of star connection, I phase is V phase by E surface. In the case of star connection, phase voltage is line voltage by root 3. That is 415 by root 3 by E surface is 134.5. Therefore, phase current is 1.78 ampere. Now, we calculate uh, this one. IQ power. IQ power is 3 times I phase, I phase cos phi. So, what will you get it is 950.64 watt. Now, what is Re-IT power? Re-IT power is given by 3 times V phase I phase sin phi. That is 856.14 volt ampere of Re-IT. Now, what is apparent power? Apparent power is 3 times V phase I phase. That is 1279.5 volt ampere. Now, coming to delta connection. In the case of delta connection, phase voltage is equal to line voltage. Therefore, phase current is given by line voltage divided by surface. That is equal to 3.08 ampere. Now, coming to apparent power in delta. The apparent power in delta connection is given by 3 times V phase I phase. Okay. V phase here V phase is 4 on 5 volt and I phase is 3.08 ampere. Therefore, apparent power in delta is 3.34.6 volt ampere. Now, power in delta connection is given by 3 into V phase I phase cos phi. Okay. So, here V phase is 4 on 5 and I phase is 3.08 and cos phi is 0.743. There we will get us 2849.1 watt. Now, come into reactive power in delta. What is reactive power in delta? That is 3 into V phase, I phase, sin phi. That is equal to 2566 VAR. Now, if you are finding the ratio of um, power in delta by power in star, you will get it as 3. That means, what is inference? The inference is power in delta is 3 times power in star. Inference is power in delta is 3 times power in star. That is the inference from this question. Okay. Hope you have understood the question. Okay. Going to the next question. Okay. Three delta connected impedances. Okay. Three delta connected impedances. Z is equal to 30 plus J15 ohm per phase is connected across three phase to 30 volt supply. Find the line current, total power, power factor, reactive volt ampere and total volt ampere. Reactive volt ampere is known as reactive power. Total volt, volt ampere is known as apparent power. So, first of all, since impedance is given directly, since impedance is given directly, like uh, in a rectangular form, 30 plus J15 ohm, you can find out, you can, uh, you can directly draw the impedance triangle. That means, 30 ohm is on x axis and 15 ohm, 15 ohm is entirely perpendicular to 30 ohm, then angle plus 90 degree. Plus J means plus 90 degree. This, this angle is plus 90 degree. Okay. So, this is R phase. And this is HL phase. This is basically RL series circuit. So, it is R phase and HL phase. R phase is 30 ohm. 
and the actual phase is 50 ohm. Now, if you are taking the uh, sum, uh, uh, if you are taking the vector sum, you will get E surface. What is E surface? E surface, you will get it as root of 30 square plus 15 square. Okay. This is root of 30 square plus 15 square. Space is, what is it? This is root of 30 square plus 15 square. That gives 33.54. This is 33.54. 33.54 ohm. And this is 5. Now, how do you find cos y? Cos y is r phase by z phase. Cos y is r phase by z phase. Cos y is r phase by z phase. What is r phase? It is 30, 30 divided by 33.54. That comes to 0 0.89. This is 0.89. Now, since it is an r I'll circuit or having uh, R plus J itself form you can write power factor is lagging. Here power factor is lagging. Power factor is 0.89 lagging. Now what is from the impedance triangle? What is sin phi? From the impedance triangle we will get sin phi as sin phi is opposite by hypotenuse that is 15 by 33.54. 15 by 33.15 so what is sin phi? Sin phi is 15 by 33.54. That comes to 0 0.447. That comes to 0 0.447. 0 0.4, 0 0.447. Now here su supply voltage is given us 230 volt. That means line voltage is given us. Line voltage is given us 230 volt. Line voltage is given us. 230 volt and given that the uh, it is delta connected so VL is equal to phase voltage so line voltage and phase voltage is exactly the same now coming to phase current what is phase current phase current is equal to B phase divided by B phase divided by E surface B phase divided by E surface what is B phase B phase here it is 230 230 divided by what is the surface? The surface is 33.54. That comes to 6.86 ampere. Okay. So phase current comes to 6.86 ampere. Phase current is basically 6.86 ampere. Okay. Now, first you will find total volt ampere. Total volt ampere is total volt ampere is given by total volt ampere is given by what? It is apparent power. Apparent power is S. Yes. Apparent power is given by 3 times B phase I phase. Apparent power is given by 3 times V phase I phase since it is 3 phase. So it is 3 into 3 into what is V phase? 230 into what is I phase? 6.86. That comes to 4733.4 is 47 4, 7, 3, 3, 0.4 volt ampere. This is 4733.4 volt ampere. 4733.4 volt ampere. Now coming to IQ power. What is IQ power? P. P is given by S into cos y. IQ power is given by S into cos y. That is given by 4733.4 into what is cos y? 0.89. That is 4212.73. 4212.73 watt. 4212.73 Now what is reactive power Q? Reactive power Q is S sin phi. Reactive power Q is S sin phi. S is what? 4733.4 4733.4 into what is sin phi? Sin phi is 0.447. So that comes to 2115.83. volt ampere reactive. Okay. So these three are asked. Okay. So, so whatever is asked. Now see, 
coming to the question back. So, whatever is asked, we have found out. So, coming back to the question again. Pre-delta connected impedances 30 plus J15 ohm per phase is connected across a pre-phase to 30 volt supply. That means, generally, unless specified, uh, that 230 volts should be taken as 9 voltage. So, 9 voltage is given as 230 volt. Now, since impedance is given in a rectangular form, directly draw the impedance triangle. So, along uh, uh, x-axis, you, you draw 30 ohm and at plus 90 degrees. Since it is plus J, at plus 90 degrees, 15 ohm is there. So, from uh, now, find, uh, uh, using the vector sum, you find this surface. This surface is root of R phase square plus x, uh, R square plus x square. That comes to 33.54 ohm. Okay, 33.54 ohm. Now, find cosine. Part of this given by R phase by E surface. What is it? This 30 by 33.54. That is 0.89. Now, this is in the, now the rectangular form of impedance is in the form R plus, R plus J H I. That means it is basically an impedance circuit. Okay, it is basically a circuit having impedance. That means power factor will be lagging. Now, coming to what is sine phi. Sine phi is basically opposite by hypotenuse. What is opposite? It is at surface by Z phase. That is 15 by 33.54. That gives 0.44 sine. Now, line voltage, I have already mentioned it, it does 230 volt. Now, what is phase current? Phase current is phase voltage by Z phase. Okay, that is V phase by Z phase. That is equal to 6.86 ampere. V phase is 230 volt and Z phase is 33.54 ampere. Now, coming to apparent power. Apparent power is the total volt ampere. Apparent power is the total volt ampere. Total volt ampere is given by 3 times V phase I phase. That is 4733.4. That is 3 into 230 into 6.86. That gives 4733.4 volt ampere. Now, coming to uh, total power. Total power is given by S into cos phi. That is a that is a horizontal component of apparent power. Horizontal component of apparent power is I T power. That is S cos phi. That is given by 4212.73 watt. Now what is R I T power? R I T power is the vertical component of I T power. That is S sine phi. That is 2115.83 volt ampere of R I T. Okay. So we have found out what power factor, line current. Oh, now we have found out phase current. We have line current is also asked. Okay. What is line current? In the case of delta connection, line current is equal to root 3 times phase current. In the case of delta connection, line current is equal to root 3 times phase current. What is it? Phase current is 6.86. So, it is root 3 into root 3 into 6.86. That comes to 11.88 ampere. 11.88 ampere. 11.88 ampere. Okay, hope you have understood the problem. Okay, so the first, in, so in the first question I have mentioned about what the previous question I have mentioned about star and delta. Okay, that means the same impedance is connected in star and delta, and we got power in delta is equal to three times power in star. In the second question we we have dealt with an dealt with an R L series circuit, so we have started from impedance triangle, find out the power factor, find out the uh, um, apparent. Uh, apparent power, IQ power and or IQ power. Okay, and we have found out the line current in the case of delta connection also in this question. Okay, now coming to the next question. Okay, uh, we will deal with this question. Okay, this question was asked for the past university. Okay, three impedances Z is equal to 30 plus J50 ohm per phase is connected across three phase 400 volt supply. Find the line current, total power factor, total power, relative volt ampere, and total volt ampere when it is connected in star and delta. Okay. This question is similar to the question which we have done earlier. The only difference is, here the only difference is, the line voltage is given as 400 volt. That is the only difference. And impedance change seems to 30 plus J50 ohm. Okay. So anyway, we will proceed with that question. Okay. Wait one minute. So we'll deal with this question. Okay. So it is thirty plus J fifty and four hundred. Thirty plus J fifty and four hundred. Okay. okay. So go into the question. Okay. 
branch per phase. That is, that phase is given by 30 plus J 50. 30 plus J 50. Okay. And line voltage is given as 400 volt. Line voltage is given as 400 volt. Okay. So, when, it is, when the same impedance is contained in star and delta, you need to find anti power, re anti power, apparent power, line current and phase current. Okay. So, first we will do with star connection. First we will do with star connection. Okay. So, to do with star connection, first you find what is the phase. The so phase is what? The so phase you can find it as root of 30 square plus 50 square. This is root of 30 square plus 50 square. That is direct. Here I am not drawing the imbalance triangle. Root of 30 square plus 50 square. That gives 58.31. And gives 58.38.31 Okay. That is is the phase. Now finding the power factor. What is power factor? Cos y. Power factor is given by R phase by is the phase. R phase by is R phase. Okay. What is R phase? R phase is 30. So it is 30 divided by 58.31. So that is 0 0.51. Answer it is 0 0.51. This is sort of 0.51. Now, since it is uh, in the form R plus JSL, power factor is lagging. This is 0 0.51 lag. Okay. So, you have got power factor. Now, find sin phi also. What is sin phi? Sin phi is basically this H cell by E surface. H cell phase by E surface. What is H cell phase? It is 50. It is 50 by 58.31. 50 by 58.31. That comes to sin phi becomes a 0.86. Sin phi becomes 0.86. 0 0.86 Okay. So sin phi is 0.86 and cos phi is 0.51. Cos phi is known as power factor. Now coming to in the case of star connection, phase voltage is given as phase voltage is given as line voltage divided by line voltage divided by root 3. What is it? It is 400 by root 3. 400 by root 3. That is 230.9. Or you can take it as even 230.9 volt. 230.9 volt. So you got V phase. So what is I phase? I phase is I phase is V phase by Z phase. I phase is V phase by Z phase. What is V phase? It is 230.9 divided by what is Z phase? 58.31. That comes to 3.96 ampere. This is 3.96 ampere. Now, what is apparent power? Apparent power in star is SS. Is given by 3 into V phase I phase. 3 into V phase I phase. And this 3 into that is 3 into 230.9 into 3.96. That gives 2743 volt ampere. This is 2743 2743 volt ampere. Okay. Now coming to uh, coming to IQ power. IQ power in star is given by again this S Apparent power into cos y. Apparent power into cos y. What is it? It is 2743 into what is cos y? 0 0.51. Answer is 1401.7 watts. 1401.7 watts. That is 0.51 watts. Now, what is reality power? Reality power is given by QS. Yes, that is. Apparent power into sine phi. Apparent power into sine phi. What is it? That is 2743 into 
what is sin phi? Sin phi is 0.86. That comes to 2358 or 2359. This 2359, what time you are reactive? This 2, 3, 5, 9 volt ampere reactive. Now we have found out what phase current. What is line current? In the case of star connection, line current is equal to phase current. In the case of star connection, line current is equal to phase current that is equal to 3.96 ampere. So the calculation regarding the star connection is over. Now coming to delta connection. Now coming to delta connection. Even even if the uh, even if the circuit is con even if the imbalance is connected in star or delta, power factor that is E surface cos phi sin phi will not vary. Okay. Now in the case of delta connection, the only difference is line voltage is equal to phase voltage. Line voltage is equal to phase voltage that is equal to 400 volt. Line voltage is equal to phase voltage that is equal to 400 volt. Now, what is phase current? Basically, phase current is phase voltage by E surface. Phase current is V phase divided by E surface. V phase divided by E surface. What is V phase? It is 400 by 58.31. So, answer is 6.86 ampere. It is 6.86 ampere. So, phase current is 6.86 ampere. 6.86 ampere. That is phase current. Now, coming to uh, apparent power. Apparent power is given by S delta. S delta is given by 3 times V phase I phase. 3 times V phase I phase is apparent power. What is it? It is 3 into 3 into 400 into 6.86. What is it? It is 8 to 3 to. It is 8 to 3 to volt ampere. It is 8 to 3 to volt ampere. Now what is power and delta? Power and delta is S delta into cos y. Power and delta is S delta into cos y. That is apparent power into cos y. That is 8 to 3 to into what is cos y? Cos y is 0.511. That gives 4206.552. 42, 4206.5. What? Okay. So that is IT power. Now coming to reactive power. Reactive power is given by Q delta. Q delta is given by S delta into sin phi. S delta into sin phi. What is S delta? S delta is 8232 into what is sin phi? 0.86. That comes to 7079.52. 70, 7079.52 volt ampere rate. Thank you. Now, in the case of delta connection, line, uh, line current is equal to root 3 times phase current. Root 3 times phase current. What is it? In the case of uh, delta connection, line current is equal to root 3 times phase current. That is 6.86 into root 3. That gives 11.88 ampere. 11.88 ampere. 11.88 Hope you have understood the question. Okay. Here I have I have not drawn the imbalance triangle. Okay. So in star connection, so um, uh, see in star connection, but uh, uh, and delta connection. What is E surface? E surface is R phase square plus H surface square. That is root of 30 square plus 50 square. That is 58.31 ohm. What is power factor cos phi? Cos phi is R phase by E surface. That is what is R phase? It is 30 by 58.31. That comes to 0 0.511 lakh. Okay. Now, what is sin phi? Sin phi is S surface by E surface. That is, what is S surface? 50. 50 by 58.31. That comes to 0 0.86. Now, in the case of star connection, what is phase voltage? Phase voltage is 230.9 volt. Now, what is phase current? Phase current is basically V phase by E surface. That is, voltage across each phase by imbalance in each phase. That is, V phase by E surface. What is V phase? 230.9. What is E surface? 
3.31 that comes to 3.96 ampere now coming to apparent power uh, what is apparent power apparent power is 3 times v phase i phase so here v phase is 23.9 and i phase is 3.96 that gives 2743 volt ampere now coming to iq power iq power is uh, apparent power into cos y what is apparent power apparent power is ss and cos y is given as 0 0.51 that gives 1401.7 watt now coming to reactive power uh, this one uh, reactive power reactive power is apparent power in the sine side that gives 2359 var now in the case of star connection line current is equal to phase current that is equal to 3.96 ampere now coming to delta connection in the case of delta connection line voltage is equal to phase voltage that is equal to 400 volt therefore phase current is v phase by z phase that is equal to 6.86 ampere so create uh, so the apparent power apparent power is given by s delta that is equal to 3 times v phase i phase that is 3 into 400 into 6.86 that is 8232 volt ampere so power in delta is given by s delta into cos y that is the uh, um, cosine component cosine component of s is iq power that is 4 to 0.6 0 0.5 watt now what is reactive power reactive power is s delta into sine phi that is 7079.52 volt ampere reactive now what is line current line current is basically root 3 times phase current in the case of delta connection line current is root 3 times phase current that is equal to 11.88 ampere okay so with that i am ending with the session on preface okay so what you have dealt uh, till now is basically we have dealt with uh, in three phase what we have dealt with basically we have started from what is three phase what is the what is the advantage of three phase then star connection and delta connection relation between line voltage and phase voltage in the case of star and delta relation between line current and phase current in the case of star and delta and we have dealt with some prob some numerical problems based on star and delta and we have pro we have also proved that power in star uh, sorry power in delta is equal to three times power in star so with that i am ending with the lecture of three phase systems thank you okay and uh, thank you and uh, and if you are, and if you are, if you are like this video please give likes please subscribe the channel and also please increase the number of views thank you thank you thank you for your patient watching okay see you again